welcome to another random review. By the way, just as a side note, I'm so sorry guys, I'm actually taking this month off so that I can get all my content calendars built and create better content for you. But there will be a few random reviews, one this week, one next week. And so thank you guys for being so patient with me, but I promise when I come back on April 1st, it's gonna be amazing content, well produced, and a lot of other great stuff happening. So with that said, let's talk about my random review. I'm so stoked today. I'm heading in right now to see A Wrinkle in Time. And I know I tried to go earlier, but with work and everything, it just didn't work. I'm so stoked by this. This is one of my favorite books of all time. And it's being directed by one of the best directors, like in my opinion, Ava DuVernay. So I'm super stoked. Honestly, I'm pretty positive there's not gonna be any cons. So basically the rest of this will just be ranting and reviewing. So I'm heading in right now. Let me get going and then I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'll see ya. So, woo, it's cold outside. All right, uh, so weather forecast aside, just finished up with Wrinkle in Time, and I, I what do I say? The one, <laughs> so breaking into pros and cons like I normally do, the only con I can see, and it has nothing to do with the movie, was that I didn't have enough tissues because I cried at least, at least four times during the film. So, other than the fact it made me cry in the movie theater, uh, everything else is a pro. I mean, let's break this down. So, first of all, I have to just say, I love Ava DuVernay. She is amazing, uh, a very strong, powerful woman, and she did an amazing job with this. So yes, it is not exactly like the book, which is fine because it, uh, it allows for a whole different take on what Madeline Langle did with her book. This is her book with a modern spin, I guess. You know, it has a strong, you know, the lead is a female, there, there's science, it's just, there are so many different layers of things that I think are super important, especially for young girls to see. Kids just in general, uh, you know, for different reasons, but young girls in general, to see that you can be strong and have faults and be smart, and you know still be this this kick-ass warrior of light like right so i think that's a super important message avery duvernay's uh direction in it is amazing her whole team like honestly the cinematography was fantastic the visual effects were like right on par the the ca other cast except for uh storm reed who is the lead amazing St storm reed was amazing. The rest of the cast was just as amazing. And little kid that played Charles Wallace, I just, I can't. He was just too cute and too, he just did such a fantastic job. The whole cast was amazing, just in general. Of course, backed by Disney, so the visual effects were fantastic, as I said. Uh, the storyline was very pertinent. I feel like right now in this day with, especially, um, and I can only speak for the US, but especially in the US, to have this message of inclusion and diversity and you know touching on in uh, you know body positivity and i mean there's so many levels the light versus the dark clearly evil versus good i mean and the fact that love is the answer to everything there are so many different levels of why this movie should be seen by everybody not let alone the entertainment factor it was fun it was quirky it was you know amazing but not only for those reasons but for the the message the messages really i can't um i'm still a little clogged up from crying honestly guys if just go out and see the movie. It's amazing. And I, I hope, I, my hope is that because it did so well, that perhaps, just perhaps, and I don't know if this has been, I haven't seen it in any of the trades, but I don't know if it's been talked about, but this is just one of a, of a five book set. So I would love to see the other ones, hopefully headed by Ava DuVernay, done. 
because there's so much fun to them and I feel like she could do justice to them. So fingers crossed that we get the other four books in movie form. And if Disney, I don't know. This is, this is ridiculous, but if anybody that works at Disney just happens to see this random review, I think it would be awesome if you guys did that. And guys, in the comments below, leave me if you think that Disney should do the other four books and what you thought of the movie. All right, guys, so honestly, I rambled enough. Pros, everything, con, bring a tissue. That's really it. So, <laughs> and once again, I want to thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know I have been absent for this month and I won't be back into solid scheduling until April 1st. So please, please, please bear with me. I promise you it will be well worth it. However, there will be a random review next week. I do believe I'm going to probably do hmm, maybe Tomb Raider. I think Tomb Raider. All right, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're digging on random reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because remember, in April, I return with brand new content, better content, and a lot of good stuff. All right. So uh, until next time, guys, safe journeys.